Okay. Uh, nice, easy one to start with. Obviously, we're here in Roast making coffee. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah. Very yeah. much so. It was my first time. Um, so I perhaps wasn't as good I was, as I was hoping for. But I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> She's pulled that one out <laughs> twice now. I'm just really welcoming it, to be honest. Oh, God. <laughs> move on quickly. Yeah, move on very quickly. <laughs> um, I've, I've been following women's football for five or six years now, and it does seem like coffee is a big deal in women's football. I've seen players transfer to new clubs, and the first question they seem to ask is... What's the, the good coffee? Shop? Yeah, no, so, to be fair, like, in every... We, we have a lot in our team. Yeah, there's like a coffee club, isn't there, where there's a group of players yeah. and yeah. you just know we always go to coffee shops yeah. together. And My um, my Secret Santa gift was a, a guide to coffee around the world. It was the best coffee shops in each of the major cities, so it's definitely a, a strong coffee theme. Because I guess you need that now if you're a professional footballer, you do have so much free time that you need to be fill it, don't you? Yeah, like, I, I think as well, you know, it's a very bonding thing to have a coffee with someone and you know, we all move around a lot, or a lot of us away from home, so there's nothing simpler than just grabbing a coffee with someone and that just kind of grows It's just there. the socialness of it yeah. as well, like getting together, a cup of coffee. You could sit here for hours, couldn't you, and just yeah. chat. <laughs> How else do you two fill your time away from football? Oh. Um, I guess I'm into a few different things. Like I play the guitar, well, try to anyway, um, just as a little bit of a hobby, you know, non-football related, and, you know, I'm into photography and trying out little things like that, so... Chester. Uh, and so yeah, yeah my dog it. is an Instagram page. Like, <laughs> follow him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I like, I like taking photos and, you know, a photo shoot with that dog every day, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I do a few things. I'm not someone who likes to, to be bored, so I try to overfill my time if, if possible. Um, I do some part time work for a company that um, helps um, high school kids get sports scholarships. And then um, I also am studying to become a chartered financial analyst, so that's a bit of a, a heavier one. <laughs> um, but yeah, and other than that, like I live in the team house with four of the other girls, and you know we're always planning to do something, hanging out, going to a movie, doing just or just watching a movie at home. It must be quite useful having four of your teammates kind of on, on your doorstep. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's it's we're. Those four girls are some of the closest girls on the team inside as well, obviously. Yeah, yeah I'm an outsider. Give her a shout. <laughs> um, no, nah, it's such a bonding thing, all being away from home in the same boat. So you always grow pretty close together, and it's really nice to have them just as a support system, I guess, as well. And so the guitar and the photography, did you just kind of, well, I've got time off. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the guitar started when I was a student and I, you know, I first came over and I always had a guitar, you know, as a kid and that, but I kind of just sat in the corner. But when I became a student, I had loads of free time and I was like, do something. So I just picked it up and kind of taught myself how to play it. And I mean, I say I play it, I try to, I don't know if I'm any good or not, but just got a lot better. I got, I've improved yeah. since I first came over yeah. um, and I upgraded my guitar as well. So. I'd yeah. like to think you have improved given that you came over at 18 and you know, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it important to have non-footballing hobbies to kind of have that escapism because of the pressures of football? Yeah, I think it's good sometimes to just switch off you know, and just, you know, like get yourself away and do something else. And yeah. that's why I, you know, play the guitar, it just takes my mind off things. Um, and it just, you know, helps me relax and chill out a little bit, so. I think people often look at our jobs and they say it's, you know, um, the hours are quite easy and it's quite relaxing to just be playing football. But for us, it's a very mentally intense process to be a professional footballer. So you really do need to have those switch off moments. Otherwise it can get a bit, you know, over absorbing I guess. Is, yeah. It's quite a structured life as well so in many ways is, is that quite good to be able to have a, a quite a balanced lifestyle in terms of having that, that balance to go off and do new things? Yeah of course like I think as in any job you need to have balance you need to have you know other friends who are not your football friends and you need to have other things that aren't involved in football um, otherwise you know it's just being healthy and making sure that you know, football maybe isn't going as well as you'd hope it for a week, you know, you have a loss or, you know, you get dropped or something. You need to have people outside of that to be able to go to. And then 
pick you up and get you back on the field when you know times are a bit tough and also to enjoy those moments when they're going really well so yeah, oh, yeah that's it pretty much yeah <laughs> <laughs> what she said <laughs> let's go back to when you were kids was was football always the, the kind of first love that you remember yeah for me 100 percent. i mean i started playing when i was four um, and i had an older brother who played so that's actually all yeah, we did. We're similar to that. I yeah. Same thing, older brother story. It was literally yeah. any free time I got, it was like outside playing football till it was dark. Do you know what I mean? That, yeah. that, that's all my childhood was. So yeah. first thing I fell in love with and that's, you know, it's what I did. It's what I always wanted to be when I was a kid. And, you know, we're here now, so. <laughs> Who were your teams growing up? I played for my school team. I was the only girl on a boys' school team till I was about 12, I think. And then... Finally got into a girls club, and um, which is Northwest Sydney Koalas. Give them a shout out. Um, no, I played all my youth football there, and yeah, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have got where I am. So yeah, I was quite similar. I played obviously through school and stuff, and I joined a boys team and a girls team, and um, just like my local clubs. And you know, I played for the girls in the summer and the boys in the winter, kind of right through. And then I stayed with that girls club right through until I was 18, and then I made made the move over here. So. That literally just stayed with the same club all the way through. And what about going to games when you were kids? Did you do that? Well, I grew up in Australia where football really isn't that big. You know, my my dad is really into sport. We were, we grew up going to cricket games and Australian rules football games, which <laughs> you drink your coffee. Um, which you know, I didn't have a team growing up. You know, I'm sorry, you're a big Man United supporter, but I didn't really have that. Cut that one out. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I grew up, you know, going to other sports, and I was just more of a big sports fan rather than being a football fan. So I didn't have like a, a follow a team I followed really. I no. remember I always used to go to the Northern Ireland games. Like every game I went to, I was a fan ever since I was like that big and. <laughs> Um, I remember when we beat England, and that was like the turning point for Northern Ireland. Like, cut that out. Yeah, no, <laughs> got to keep that one in. It was like one of the most, most historic nights in our history, and I remember. Is that David Healy? David Healy, yeah. yeah. Like David back, and everyone was playing. It was great. I remember, and I turned up to school on that Monday, and everyone had Northern Ireland shirts on, and I was like, <laughs> I've been here from the start. <laughs> so I'd always been a hardcore fan, and then obviously my dream was always to play for Northern Ireland, and then I got to do that as well. So. You know, I'm still, even now, like, I still, I'm, like, following the men. I'm, like, still such a fan. But, yeah, ever since I was a kid. Size that matters. <laughs> 